very good morning uh, today we are going to see about uh, the uh, types of uh, generating units that is uh, thermal generating unit and as well as hydropower so why i am dealing with the, this two alone now these are the major uh, like uh, for the base loads if you take this uh, like a thermal generating units is a major uh, power station that is giving the shaft and uh, next to that hydro next to renewable energy resources are also there so the percentage uh, percentage uh, what we are using is uh, somewhat uh, very less only and uh, if you know uh, the very detailed uh, process of how the uh, thermal generating unit is operating and how uh, we are dispatching the power so whatever the, that is being generated um, how we are optimally dispatching the power so if you understand that concept and uh, if you understand the concept of thermal generating unit i think uh, that is very easy for you to understand for some other generating unit also uh, say for example hydro power then uh, renewable energy resources so everything you can easily understand once you can understand how the power is being dispatched optimally dispatched in thermal generating units so the very first we'll just uh, try to see um, what is um, how the uh, thermal generating unit is operating then later on we will see uh, how optimally we can uh, dispatch so if you see like uh, thermal generating units uh, very well you know like that is being used as a base load say for example in the peak hours peak hours in the morning uh, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock uh, for domestic i'm saying and as well as in the uh, for example industrial if you take like uh, from the morning um, uh, 10 o'clock to uh, uh, 1 o'clock so that is the peak hour for industry and as well as uh, lunch hour one hour break then uh, again immediately like um, uh, like 1 o'clock or uh, 2 o'clock to again uh, five uh, 6 o'clock that is the peak hour for industries and then again um, uh, like uh, if you take like 6 o'clock to uh, night uh, uh, 10 o'clock is the peak hour for uh, the domestic use domestic uh, users domestic consumers so in that uh, the uh, peak hour. so uh, within this uh, which uh, uh, when the load is maximum so by the time the uh, as i said like Uh, we have seen in load curve and load duration curve now based on the load curve and load duration curve of the previous year previous year what is the um, load curve and load duration curve for this particular day so with that what they they will do is um, they will uh, predict predict the load okay they will uh, predict the load based on that okay predict the load based on the your load curve and based on that they will be generating the power and also if you take like a thermal generating unit it is not that much easy to generate the uh, power from the th thermal generating unit it is where the process is very very um, high okay many process are there okay not only one process it may be of uh, like multiple process are there if you want to generate uh, like 7 o'clock in the morning you have to start the process by Uh, 5:30 or 6 o'clock, uh, one hour, one hour, one and a half hours before you have to start the process. Then only at the 7 o'clock uh, time you can generate, uh, say, for example, 1,000 megawatt of power. You can easily generate, and also uh, the labor, uh, like uh, um, the labor involved, the labor involved in the thermal power station. Like if you uh, take the attendance uh, roll call of the Uh, who are all entering into a one shift in the thermal uh, power station? It might be minimum 200 to 300 numbers might be entering entering into that particular shift. Okay, so uh, like I am saying, a uh, minimum amount. Uh, it may be very about very to 500 or 500 employees or minimum entering into a single shift to uh, operate that uh, particular thermal power. And also uh, like uh, the process, the process you take uh, like. Uh, um boiler uh, then uh, uh, like a um, heater the heater then boiler then um, economizer and the heater uh, the, uh, like uh, many processes are there then uh, it comes to uh, steam generation uh, steam generation again uh, that steam generation is processed and it is given to 
particular generator. So they are near to generator also some employees, uh, minimum 10 to 15 employees will be standing uh, uh, for an uh, excitation. Then again, uh, while starting, so what is uh, the power being generated? Again, in the SCADA system, in the SCADA system, um, like um, um, the monitor will be there. That they, they are monitoring all the process, their process. So there are also minimum 10 members uh, is required to monitor the, all the process. Uh, so what is the uh, uh, incoming uh, heat heat uh, from the um, uh, like um, from the boiler and what is the outlet? What is the outlet path? So that is being generated. What is the losses? What is the active power, reactive power? Uh, then everything. Then after that also uh, like um, substation. Okay, switching substation. Um, so in that, uh, uh, say for example, uh, the power is being generated. So after that, they have to um, step up, uh, step up that uh, uh, power to some 400 kilovolt uh, or 765 kilovolt or uh, 1000 uh, thousand kilo, uh, kilovolt. They have to um, step up. Okay. So then they have to um, uh, send to the transmission line, and transmission line also it, it, it will be flowing through. Towards uh, like uh, 200 kilometers or 300 kilometers of that distance. So in between switching substation, so again distribution. That is that is uh, you already studied. Okay. So here uh, this many processes are there. So in thermal station itself, this many processes are there. Whereas if you take like hydro, this is somewhat less. There is uh, some uh, minimum uh, process might be there. But uh, the employees may be uh, like uh, 10 to 20 employees may be uh, required for operating a single uh, hydro power plant. If the stage uh, stages are more, then uh, it, it will be multiplied. Minimum some 30, 40 members is more than enough to um, uh, like uh, uh, regulate this hydro power station. But as a high renewable, renewable also maintenance. Only maintenance should be there. Like uh, solar, if you take like uh, that, uh, uh, that dust in, uh, in the solar panel has to be cleaned uh, in the regular intervals. Then after that, no no issues. Like uh, it will be automatically generating. Uh, the, then uh, the, with the this will, like uh, uh, it is it has to be step up. Okay, it has to be processed. It has to be converted. Okay, DC to AC conversion has to be taken place. And in the remote places, uh, like uh, if the solar power plant is located at uh, 30, 40 kilometers uh, apart. So in the, um, uh, uh, with the usage of the uh, PLC and SCADA system, you can easily monitor, monitor in the single room. By, uh, by sitting in the single room, you can uh, easily monitor. Like that, many stages may be there. Okay, so if you take like solar, some one megawatt plant, uh, then five megawatt plant, then 10 megawatt plant. So all combined together, you can simply sit in uh, one room and you can easily watch how many um, plants there that uh, that is being connected to that particular um, uh, case SCADA system. So uh, like that, you can easily switch on and switch off. And if you take like a wind, wind, uh, wind energy conversion system, okay, wind, uh, wind power station. So that also similarly like uh, a wind power station also like a. Uh, based on the wind velocity based on the wind velocity you have to just on and off the particular uh, power station so that also uh, requires less maintenance less maintenance only say for example um, in particular area some uh, um, some 50 turbines are there okay 50 turbines are there two uh, two or three maintenance engineers is more than enough okay minimum four uh, maintenance engineers is more than enough they have to uh, uh, see the, uh, the readings. Uh, uh, so, what is uh, uh, power output like that? That is more than enough. But uh, that 50 turbines, if you take like the wind turbines, uh, 50 turbines is connected to a, a single station. Okay. So, if you are, uh, if all the, uh, like uh, with the SCADA system, if you just sit uh, in, uh, in a room, you can easily monitor what all the uh, wind turbines is on. Okay based on the wind velocity recorded in the particular places you can on and off by sitting in the room but as for simple maintenance one two or three employees is needed for monitoring okay if any fault happens uh, they have to go to that particular turbine uh, say for example fault happened in the 10th turbine 
10 uh, wind uh, turbine. So they have to go to the particular turbine and they have to rectify that particular fault. Okay, the fault might be a very, very minimum, but uh, so some maintenance engineers is needed. So not that much maintenance because whereas if you see like thermal, 500 employees is to four, four employees, maybe four to maybe 10 employees. Maybe. So 500 is, is to 10. So 500 is to 10 is, so see the difference. So this much process is needed for the thermal position. If you take like high low, minimum 20 to 30 employees is more than enough for, say for example, three or four stages or five stages, uh, okay, uh, 100 megawatt of five. Okay, 100 into 5, 500 megawatt uh, uh, station might be there. So in that, that maybe 30 employees is more than enough uh, for running that whole run. So 30 is to 500. See the difference. 30 employees versus 500 employees. So how many travels is uh, taking place in that um, thermal station? So why I am repeatedly um, uh, telling this uh, Telling uh, to concentrate on thermal power station is the amount amount we spent is very very more. Okay, the amount we spent for coal, uh, coal and also for the uh, wages, salary to the employees, then for uh, running that plant is very very more. Whereas the amount spent for because if you take like hydro, hydro is uh, very uh, free. The source, uh, the source uh, water source is free. Okay, so one day thing is dam has to be filled. They that water, we can easily install, we can easily generate the power. So, whereas uh, um, renewable also free, okay, sun and the wind, okay, solar uh, solar power and the wind is free, no need to pay for that. But uh, for low, for coal, we need to purchase, we need to purchase tons and tons of coal. Okay, imagine one kilogram of uh, very good uh, like coal uh, that is being used in um, thermal position, not we are uh, using uh, say for example, if you have, uh, want to make a uh, biryani, you, you, you want uh, some coal. Okay, for uh, putting dumb, you need to go not that coal. That is of low quality coal. So if you take like the, the coal that is being used in thermal power station, it is grade one. Okay, grade one coal. Okay, so that is being crushed, uh, pulverized. Okay, pulverized and being used in the boiler. So grade one coal. So per kg, if you go, take like a minimum uh, like 15 rupees to 18 or 20 rupees okay so maximum of 20 rupees or 25 rupees also there so um, they need to spend minimum 15 to 20 rupees per kg so imagine about 10 so not only one ton it might be of uh, like uh, 50 tons or 100 tons uh, like that it might be used Okay, so the cost, the cost involved in the particular thermal station is very, very high because we are spending and we are generating, but that is being needed, needed. So why? Because the, the countries like India, we are relying like a 65 percentage, okay, 64 percentage, we are relying only on the thermal power generating units, uh, remaining only the nuclear, uh, nuclear is very, very um, less, uh, remaining uh, like um, uh, maximum at the maximum from the nuclear, I think 5000 megawatt uh, we are generating daily. Then uh, that that might be decreasing, that 5000 might be decreasing. So one day we'll uh, see in detail uh, what are the uh, power station, how we are generating. So what is the power scenario that we'll see in detail one day. So next um, is uh, high, uh, like wind. Uh, uh, wind. Uh, wind also less then from um, solar then uh, from an another uh, renewable energy sources like uh, gas or uh, then bio uh, biogas uh, then diesel diesel also that but diesel you know the cost of the diesel are approximately like uh, 90 rupees okay approximately 100 rupees so 100 rupees uh, if we generate then you need to pay the tariff uh, like the tariff of like 20 rupees per unit okay if we generate uh, uh, like more than that also so you have to pay 20 rupees or 25 rupees per unit uh, for uh, uh, if you generate the um, okay, power for the diesel generator so the thermal thermal so we have to so whatever the power that being generated from the thermal uh, generating units so we have to 
optimally dispatched, optimally dispatch the power so that we can reduce the losses and as well as cost involved in that particular thermal generating unit. Okay. Say for example, um, 10 crore rupees we are spending. Okay, 10 crore rupees we are spending uh, for uh, generating the power. Okay. So uh, like simply like that, uh, we are uh, not uh, operating the plant efficiently uh, due to some losses. That might be loss, say for example, one crore rupees. Uh, might be the losses, then automatically it will be uh, fall on our, our head on because we need to pay. We need to pay if the loss is very, very more and if they are not optimally um, using or uh, optimally dispatching the power to uh, nearby uh, substations, um, switching substation or distribution substation, then automatically we need to pay that money. Okay, so, uh, uh, so optimally we need to dispatch. So in another words, economic, economically we need to dispatch. So that is called the term economic load dispatch. Okay, so economic load dispatch is very, very important. Term. So economically means, so not for the cost, the costliest generators. So we need to say, for example, that this example already I, I, I told you, uh, 1000 mega. Uh, the particular um, area, the particular area's load is 1000 megawatts, say for example, 1000 megawatt. So we are, we are also generating, we are, we, we, we are uh, generating around uh, 1000 megawatt in thermal power station. So losses is definitely transmission losses is there. Okay, definitely transmission losses is there. So due to this transmission loss, so 15 percentage loss. Okay, so they are now they are saying like your electricity board is saying like, now we have reduced to 12 percentage, 10 percentage, uh, 12 percentage losses, and like a maximum, uh, we have uh, reduced that losses to minimum, we have reduced that loss to 12 percentage, like that they have claimed. Say, for example, I am telling like uh, 15 percent losses, 12 to 15 percent, it will come 15 percent losses. So, 1000 megawatt you are generating in thermal power station, 15 percent loss means how much? So 150 megawatt it almost lost. So 850 megawatt only will be reaching, uh, reaching the receiving end. That is the distribution station. But my load is how much? My uh, that particular area, the whole city's uh, load is thousand megawatt. Say for example, thousand megawatt is the that particular uh, load. Okay, that particular area. Okay. So uh, only we are getting only 850 megawatt only we are getting at the receiving. So how, how much uh, power is a deficit? Deficit for us, 150 megawatt is the deficit for us. Okay, so 150 megawatt, how to manage? Um, how to manage? So we need to manage with some other uh, hydro power station or renewable energy resources like. Okay, so we need to uh, say, for example, uh, uh, this uh, power, uh, whatever we generated, whatever we generated, it is of two, uh, two 500 megawatt. Say for example, one is of um, one into 500 and another one into 500. So two uh, 500 megawatt we are taking. Okay. So if we are relying only on, if we are relying only on thermal power station, only we are taking only few like a thousand, 150 megawatt uh, from um, other resources like hydro or some other resource. Definitely, the cost of the cost uh, involved in the power generation might be increasing like anything. So automatically tariff also, what, um, what uh, we are getting, that tariff also will be increased. So what we need to do is we have to less usage, we have to less utilize this thermal power station and uh, we have to maximum, uh, maximum, we have to utilize, utilize with some other power station also. Okay, and also while uh, dispatching, so uh, say for example, this all power, say for uh, 1000 megawatt also coming to low dispatch center, already I said that. So low dispatch center, if you don't know, you go to the previous uh, uh, videos and you can see, uh, like a low dispatch uh, center. So low dispatch centers, they are receiving this 1000 megawatt, uh, that is 850 megawatt loss. Then uh, some uh, from uh, hydro, they are receiving around, uh, 100 megawatt and uh, some other renewable uh, resources they are gen uh, getting oh, 50 megawatt say for example 50 megawatt so one particular area the load is 1000 megawatt so they need to optimally dispatch optimally dispatch 
so whichever the least cost generated that the generation only they are they need to dispatch to the distribution station if uh, the load is say for example if the uh, load is uh, uh, that 1000 megawatt if they are utilizing only with the thermal power station okay not optimally dispatching only with the thermal power station whatever uh, that is receiving with the load dispatch centers then automatically the cost involved in that particular generation is increased and as well as the tariff what we are paying also will be increased so that is so if you if that load dispatch center is doing like that okay so there are there there is no optimal dispatch they are simply like that they are giving that thing that definitely that is the loss that is the loss for say for example if it is government owned because they are giving that flat rate that only for 5 rupees or 6 rupees only they are giving okay in summer season they take 1 rupees or 2 rupees extra and they, they are following the flat rate plan only they uh, say for domestic users they are giving a certain amount like 5 rupees uh, per unit then uh, for industrial users it may differ okay type 1 type 2 type 3 tariff commercial tariff type 1 Uh, eight rupees uh, or uh, ten rupees, then type two, uh, twelve rupees, then type three, fifteen rupees. Then for industrial customers, eighteen rupees or twenty rupees, twenty-two rupees, like that. They are charging for different uh, consumers. Okay, different consumers. They are charging different. So automatically, what uh, they they will do? They will increase the uh, domestic uh, consumers' uh, commercial tariff, then industrial tariff by two rupees or. Uh, like industrial tariff, if they increase the industrial tariff to one or two rupees, automatically the cost info involved in the particular cost uh, uh, to whom uh, the industry is also related. So whatever the product they are manufacturing, they will increase the product cost. Okay. So say for example, fifteen uh, thousand rupees a mobile uh, cost around fifteen thousand rupees, they will be increasing around another five hundred rupees because they they are paying for the that is more than so um, automatically if the domestic consumers na automatically um, it will be fall on our revenue right even for paying say for example in our home we are paying 20500 we have to pay around another uh, 2000 rupees so 500 rupees extra we need to pay in the every month so our monthly budget also will be um, small will be uh, will be increased so like that this also will be increased okay so we need to optimally dispatch economically we need to dispatch that particular power economically means less usage of this um, uh, like whichever is costliest generator we have to utilize less and whichever is um, like um, cheap generator which whichever, whichever uh, it is very cheap the resources uh, like uh, hydro then uh, uh, renewable that we have to utilize more okay so from the low dispatch center itself so say for example today's load is um, of our state uh, today's load is like 15000 megawatt 15000 megawatt uh, so uh, based on the load uh, curve load duration curve and load curve they are um, okay they are predicting predicting in the previous in the in prior okay so based on that uh, they will be uh, putting one calculation so the, these are the installed capacity of the generators in our state uh, so these are the installed capacity is different so whichever the gen, uh, generators we have to choose okay installed capacity so from that installed capacity say for example from in the thermal generating unit the installed capacity might be of 4500 megawatt but generation only uh, might be of 1000 megawatt and hydro if you take like installed capacity of 1000 megawatt But the generation only 500 megawatt, so 100 into 5, only 500 megawatt only will be running. Or 200 megawatt, some other generating uh, hydro generating units only 200 megawatt. Some other uh, renewable energy installed capacity like 200 megawatt, so only running is so 1,100 megawatt or 100 megawatt like that. Uh, it may be uh, differ. So they will be putting a calculation. Optimally, they will be putting the calculation. So, so whichever is the least cost generator, so that that generator they might be choosing. Uh, say, for example, from uh, for managing that fifteen thousand megawatt from um, uh, thermal, we can choose like six uh, thousand megawatt. So, from a uh, hydro alone, 
some 5,000 megawatts, so 11,000 megawatts. So from uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, like uh, renewable uh, uh, energy resources, so 2,000 megawatts, so 13,000 megawatts. So another 2,000 megawatt from the some other shares, uh, some nuclear power from 500 megawatt, some other gas uh, power plant, some uh, 1,000 megawatt, some other uh, like a chemical power plant, some other um, biogas or something. So another 500. So from that, the, they will be managing that 15,000 megawatt. So more than that also they, they need to. Why? Because they, they will not choose only 15,000 megawatt. Because like 15,000 megawatt means they have to go for 15,500 or 16,000 megawatt. So then only they can manage this 15,000 15, megawatt. So suddenly the load might be of increasing suddenly the load might be of decreasing also sometimes. So sometimes from the load as passengers, what they will do is they will call to generating station, um, like uh, you can off you can off one 500 megawatt. Why? Because the load is now decreasing. So you can off 500 megawatt for uh, sometimes, some uh, two hours or three hours. And suddenly from load as passengers, they might be receiving call like this also. So, so you have to increase the mega generation. Like, uh, you are generating only 1000 megawatt, so please generate another 500 megawatt also, or another 1000 megawatt also. Like that also, the information they they might be uh, getting. So from the load dispatch centers, they need to select only optimal generator. How to select the optimal generator? So purely uh, they they might be intimating. So intimating to reduce or increasing the generate generate. Uh, gen generation from the generating units, generation from the generating units. So optimally, if they are uh, dispatching units, so our cost, uh, the tariff um, involved is also, will be optimal, optimal, uh, like uh, decreasing, will be decreasing. Instead of paying 1,500 megawatt, if, uh, sorry, instead of pay, paying 1,500 rupees per month, if they are very, very optimizing, uh, optimizing that uh, particular generating units, they might be paying only 1,200 megawatt. If the cost is reduced, so automatically what they will do is they will try to reduce the tariff rate to some other one or two rupees. Automatically, uh, our um, from our side, so we will pay only some instead of 1,500, we will pay only 1,200. So three, 300 rupees is a so 300 rupees per per per, per um, uh, say for example per home means it may vary. So I'm Telling an example, it may vary. So automatically everything will be reduced mix. Automatically it might be optimal. Okay. So that is the ma major uh, aim, aim of the, uh, like the, if you uh, go, go inside the, the like generating uh, station, that will be a board, be a board of board. Uh, aim of this particular uh, uh, generating. So uh, for first thing is that to reduce the losses, to reduce the losses and to decrease the amount involved in the generation. So whatever the generating unit may be thermal or hydro. Okay. So first if they reduce what they so say for example uh, 10 paise if they reduce also it may be reflecting our tariff also. Okay. 10 paise per unit or 1 rupee if they are reducing or 1 paise if they are reducing also because uh, we are not uh, generating like one 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 kilowatt or something. We are generating megawatt, megawatt. That that too in thousands and ten thousand and like that we are generating. Okay, even one paise or ten paise or five paise if you are reducing per unit cost, automatically it will be reflected in our tariff. Okay, so it, uh, for this economic load dispatch is very very important economically we need to dispatch so that to dispatch load dispatch load dispatch centers only will be dispatching this uh, particular uh, thing economically particular uh, thing to your um, distribution substation economically from that you will be receiving so automatically if they are economically dispatching if the say for example uh, without touching uh, without touching the thermal generating units, if they are able to manage the load, then that is good, very good. Okay, so, uh, so uh, but it is not possible. I am uh, telling an example, but this might be not possible because base like uh, um, uh, renewable may be changing. 
So one time, you know, solar might be intensity might be a very, very high, high in that particular time. See, for example, 50 megawatt or 100 megawatt is coming regularly, or otherwise, but in the, some uh, some other winter season or autumn season, uh, the intensity of light is very, very low. Sometimes um, the generation also might be very really much. Sometimes uh, the wind velocity, okay. So due to the prediction, the wind velocity also might be very, very less. Say so predicting one day, they, they will be predicting one day or uh, one day before or the week before or month before. Okay, but uh, they will be predicting one day before. Okay, even though we weekly prediction also that. So one day before they will be checking. So what might be there with the velocity? So how much uh, power is we can generate from from that uh, wind velocity like that also they might be doing so they so the wind velocity intensity is less now automatically they have to rely on some other generating hydro or thermal so first they, they will touch with the hydro so if the water uh, 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 water content of the dam is very very less because water is stored in the dam so that might be utilized for even uh, for a one month or uh, 60 days or uh, 90 days for three months so long term they will be storing the water okay so they, they're storing the water that may be uh, that has to come for three months or uh, by the time the dam will also will be, the water will uh, okay uh, will be equalizing but uh, they, even though they have to uh, uh, touch at this point also because optimally they have to use you no know? so because in the long term also they have to use so in the one day itself they they, they might be generating uh, the power um, they might be wasting the water for you know, for one day then uh, the long term uh, long term power generation from the hydro station also not possible so uh, the thing is that they have to rely on thermal uh, thermal power station uh, that is based so thermal power station they have to less utilize the thermal power station more they have to utilize other other um, generating units other generating but uh, they have to, but, but uh, no no way because um, if uh, this also uh, like uh, due to seasonal changes, so this uh, like uh, uh, wind also not giving hands, uh, solar also not giving hands. So definitely we have to rely on our um, thermal power station only. So optimally we have to utilize. Okay, so we um, so we we should not uh, so uh, load is the fifteen thousand winds. We should not do utilize uh, ten thousand megawatt or. Uh, like 12,000 megawatt only from thermal. Okay, so we have to less utilize, but it, um, but no no way to do. Okay, so we have to utilize, but we have to less utilize. That optimally useful. In other words, optimally useful. And meanwhile, in load less passenger also optimally they have to touch it. That means optimally they have to select select that particular generating units. So that the cost also might be 